Skadoosh, skadoosh. Welcome back to the channel, ninjas. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. I have been busy in the workshop. When I say workshop, I mean MTG Arena. I have been trying my hardest to get some nasty original deck brews without going online and net decking and trying to figure some things out. I think I'm on to a deck that does work out pretty well in Orzov. You guys can catch me testing it out tonight live on good old Twitch. Make sure you look for the link in the description of this video and uh, follow me on Twitch. It's free and uh, you can interact with me and we can chat it up and whatnot and you can see what decks I've been working on and brewing and how they've been coming along. Long story short, we do have this box in front of us of Ultimate Masters 25. No, it's not. It's Ultimate Masters, period. And uh, this thing's pretty freaking hot. We're going to crack that open. But I asked a question in a video before. I asked, what is your favorite angel and someone answered that question they said sarah angel and that person is none other than eric stevens so eric stevens congrats make sure you contact me my good man it's completely random guys you're gonna get the conduit of ruin the promo the merfolk trickster hate this card but love it at the same time and uh, also a regina that's right regina signed by yours truly joey moss make sure you comment uh in the video and also just give me a con just, just contact me my man i appreciate it let's get to cracking ultimate masters this sucker is still going up in price i think it's at 350 bucks right now Maybe even more. It, it's it's outrageous the prices on this thing. Sorry for the late video, but again, I have been trying my hardest to get an original deck together without uh, net decking or net brewing or any of that. You know, I like to put my decks together that way and get a little inspiration uh, just through trial and error, and that's kind of how I go about it. So there you have it. Let's get to cracking. Also, quick shout out to Cody DeBell, Zach Balaki. Luke Rankin, Thomas Emanuelson, Dan Rayner, Joey Moss learned to open a freaking pack, Joseph Hatchell, Jackman Jangs, Jerry Ogren, Jacob Narr, Anthony GG, Trevor Bem, Trey Brooksby, Brooksby, sorry about that, Brooksby, uh, Carl Lazar, I played someone named Lazar today when I was on Arena, it's kind of funny, Andrew Campos, uh, Andre O'Brien, Anthony Cheney, Marcus Wood, Lance Burton, and more to come. Uh, we have a Satire Wayfinder with a Reanimate non-foil. That's pretty cool. Uh, not bad. We got a Devoted Druid. DuPont. Pretty legit. Also, Zane Stewart, Jake Mike. Oh, Jake's going to kill me. Jake told me how to say this before. Jake Mi Mikey. Can I call you Jake Mikey? Jake Mikey. It's, it flows off the tongue really nice. Another citizen token. Our foil is Revel Arc, which is rare. It's beautiful artwork, just not that valuable. Uh, a Daybreak Coronet, not bad at all. And a Boneyard Worm with the leader and tower out the back. Pretty legit. Uh, also, shout outs to It's the Giornos. I love that. Uh, Saligia, Cloud 10, MTG, Michael Van Halen, Matthew Waters, Kyle Smith, Philip Hamilton, Michael Brennan, Andre Mura, Carolyn Harper, a Stitch Drake, shout out to that, and Agorio's Vengeance. Wow, this deck has been, or this opening has been pretty good so far. Uh, Fecunity, Magma, Mystic Retrieval. Legitimate. Not bad at all. Um, also, Kyle Smith, Philip Hamilton, Michael Brennan, Andre Mura, Carolyn Harper, Trenton Vigil, Yuri DeVry, Phyrexian Oil, Ted Prater, Joshua Hornback, Jeremy, and Frank Airy. Thank you for all your guys' love and support. Stitcher's Apprentice, Vexing Devil. We are doing pretty good right now. There has And Chainer's Edict's good as well. Urban Evolution. We haven't had anything under $5 from our rare slot. That's, that's a really good sign that this box is just going to be magnificent. So hopefully it stays that way. Elemental. Uh, miming slime engineered explosives nice a little explosion in the pants after that and uh, a kiern a kiern a kiern not too bad wow so far what a box these are hit or miss like any other booster box you get i know some people say man i went and purchased a couple i didn't get crap well that's that's how it, it happens that way it's just how it is life from the loam this happens to be one of those boxes that are just on fire uh for sure wow uh, zero complaints right now out of this box. I have had my share of crappy Ultimate Masters booster boxes. <laughs> what was the crappiest box you guys ever had? 
Like, I'm talking like a box with maybe zero shock lands in it, and the Mythics were all garbage. Creeping Tar Pit, not bad. I think it's one of our lesser uh, valued cards so far. With Kitchen Sphinx, Become Immense, and Golgari Charm. But I have had my fair share. I think there was one time I even opened seven shock lands out of a Cons of Tarakir. It was seven or eight. You can go back and check out that video. That thing was something else. Got the zombie token, the Phalanx leader, Demonic Tutor. Oh, this box is stupid. Counter Squall, the Necromancer, and the Hunger in the back. Wow. This box has been truly, truly amazing. I think I was I think I was due a little something good out of uh, Ultimate Masters. This might be the last one we do on the channel, so give me a skadoosh for that. Spirit, the Snap Wow! Snapcaster Mage. Holy frickin' impressiveness. This box is crazy good. Songs of the Damned. The lens, the worm out the back. Every single pack has just been phenomenal. A Snapcaster Mage also. I believe I gave away a Snapcaster Mage uh, to patrons um, in the last patron live stream. That was nuts. Uh, the Vampire sees the day. So finally we slow up a little bit. We got to seize the day, which is not too impressive. But so far, wow. We get a Liliana out of this box. That'll just blow my socks off, you know. We got the Wicker Brow Elder with a disrupting shawl of bulk. So the bulk has come to haunt us now. The anger's not bad. The bulk is literally punching us right now in the balls. And we are we are taking a hard beat down here. There's no two ways around it. There's no two ways around it. We're getting our balls bashed in. Frantic Search, Magus of the Bazaar. Yep, three in a row. Three in a row. Imagine being that guy that went into the, the card shop and was like, you know what, let me get a... Let me get three packs of the Ultimate Masters there. And those were your three packs. The last three we just cracked. Man, I would I would be a little upset to say the least, but that's the luck of the draw. The Spider. Ooh, a Slum, a Reaper with a Raging Ravine. Appetite for Brains and some other stuff. No one cares. No one cares. This one's been uh, so far so good. Let's get that steam back, though. Let's get that steam back. We got the old High Priest. All is Dust. Not too bad. Not too bad. Lab Laboratory Maniac, I think, is one of the more expensive ones in here. Let's see what's up inside the Ultimate Box Topper real quick. If you don't mind me cracking this son of a guy open here. Let's crack her open. Nice and smooth opening. Nice and smooth. And the flip. Oosh! Dark Depths. Wow. That is gorgeous. Finally, a nice one out of here. Besides the one we destroyed. That was sad. So uh, let's all take a moment, bow our heads to the Tarmogoyf that we destroyed. But wow, Dark Depths, that is gorgeous. Perfect card. Uh, pretty good centering. Looks like it's a little to the left on this one. Not bad, though. Wow, Dark Depths. Really neat card. And the prices on these things are just continuously creeping up. So if you didn't get in on Ultimate Masters yet, you're just going to start paying an arm and a leg for it. Eldrazi Conscription, not bad. Buried Alive, The Vapors, cool, cool. So far, very impressive box. This might be one of one of the top two, probably top two for boxes uh, of Ultimate Masters I've, cra I've cracked. Fauna Shaman, we are slowing up right now. I think we've only pulled one Mythic. One Mythic so far, outside of that Dark Depths. But I don't think the Dark Depths uh, masterpiece, whatever you want to call it, I don't believe that counts. So there's that. Spark Elemental. All right. Mad Prophet. Phyrexian Tower. Oh, yeah. Getting the good stuff out of here. The Angel. Always fun to see my angels. So one Mythic. I believe you get at least two Mythics in a box. So fingers crossed we get at least one more. Kitchen Finks Foil. That's a really good hit. The Containment Priest. Lava Spike. Just a lot of good uncommons. Um, and even commons. I'm not sure the value on the common slot. If you guys know, what are the most expensive commons in here? Are any over $3? I'm sure in time some will be. Moan of the Unhallowed. Pretty sweet artwork on that. Ulamog, the Infinite Gyre. That is pretty sweet. That is powerful. 10-10. Get off me. That thing wrecks games. If you can get it out. I think just wrecks it. Maybe with the Elvish Piper. Get the old Piper out and smack down your Ulamog. Get people to quit. That's fun. Elemental. Vessel of the Endless Rest Foil. Back to basics. Cool. Really cool rare. That thing's gone up and down in price. I think it's slowly creeping back up. Golgari Thugs, another good uncommon in here. We are down to just a few packs. What are we going to get? A few packs to crack. 
Maybe another mythic. That'd be oh, the case hit Emrakul. Ions towards the second one we pulled. Wow, that is magnificent. Holy crap! What an ancient tomb. Get a load of that. Get a load of its beauty. The spell can't be countered. When you cast this spell, take an extra turn after this one. Flying protection from colored spells and annihilator six. When Emrakul the Ion's Dorn is put into a graveyard from anywhere, its owner shuffles the graveyard into their library. So the spell can't be countered, okay? And then when it comes out, when you cast this spell, take an extra turn for this one. And it has flying protection from colored spells and annihilator six. So every turn with this thing, or is it when you attack, one of the two, annihilator six, your opponent destroys six of their permanents. That's insane. You do that twice over, I mean, the game's basically done for. Holy crap. Ancient Tomb on top of that. These cards are so slippery. Yikes. So slippery. What an opening. Really cool. Amrakul the Iron's Torn Mythic Foil. That is cool. I was asking for a Mythic, and we certainly got one. Drake, Heliod Pilgrim. Pattern of a Rebirth. This, uh, yep, that goes in the foil pile. Followed by a stream, and then this and that and the others. We got two packs, guys. Two packs. What two packs can we get inside the box? Let's see. We got the Zombie. Angelic Renewal. Dig Through Time. That was kind of a blunder there. Huh? I was hoping to get a little something bigger and better than that. And we just, you know, we couldn't do it. It's all right. It's all right. We got high hopes for this last pack. It is last pack. Moss back. Let's see. Homunculus. Travel preparations. Liliana of the Veil on the last pack. Shut up. Get out of here. Punch the like button in the jaw piece. Liliana, you gorgeous, gorgeous girl you. This is probably the best box I've ever opened. Uh, and very impressive. Liliana and all of her awesome sauce. Wow. Man, take her home and just bend her up. We'll see you later.